Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr. Stand ah! <laughs> I'm just checking in on you. Seeing how your week's going. How you guys doing? I am in a great mood. Woo! I'm in an awesome mood. Huh? You in a bad mood? You're driving in your car there? You're stuck in traffic? Is there some douche in front of you? Huh? Not doing what you want him to do. Are you having little dictator thoughts? Are you thinking about what you would do if you were in power? What you would do with this person? What rule you would implement? You know, it's got to be awesome being a dictator. You know what I mean? How much fun is it on the 4th of July to shoot off fireworks? Can you imagine how much fun that fatty over in North Korea is having? You know, how hard did they fucking laugh when they shot that one over Japan? I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, how the fuck did everybody had to go to bed after that? Then he's just laying in bed so fucking amped up like, I can't believe we just did that, man. That was crazy. We just freaked out a whole country. Calling each other up. Dude, the whole world's talking about us, man. (laughs) What a fucking lunatic. What if there was a malfunction on that fucking thing and it, and he you just it landed that guy it, I'm telling you man he's got to lay off the fucking sweets all that sugar is just he's, it's not fucking it's not doing him good he's not making sound decisions thank god we have such a level-headed guy on our side <laughs> oh my god you know, watching the Dead Zone was always scary, watching the Martin Sheen character get into power, but I think to go back and watch it now is going to be just picturing Donald Trump going, the birds are away, gentlemen, and doing that little thing he does where he puts his index finger and his thumb together, and his other three fingers are in the air. The birds are the way. The greatest birds ever. Um, yeah, Jesus Christ, all this fucking end of day shit, talking about these goddamn tornadoes one after another. You know, like some battle royal of fucking weather. I did Rogan's show last night. There's nothing worse than hanging out with somebody who's fucking informed. He starts telling me, this thing was forming out over the Atlantic. They've never seen anything like this. This is the size of fucking Florida. Hey, Bill, how much time do you want to do tonight? (laughs) I was in a fucking panic. He was like laughing at me going, look at Bill's face. Look at Bill's face. It's like, Joe, what look am I supposed to have on my face when you basically said... You know, everything, you had everything but Jesus fucking crowd surfing in on that fucking thing. Not to mention, I'm going to Mississippi and Alabama this weekend. Mississippi, Alabama, the heart of the SEC. I'm going to tell you something right now. As a fucking northern white boy Yankee, I fucking love Mississippi and Alabama. I, lo- I love that whole fucking stretch of the South, how they all shit on each other. And then it somehow lands in Louisiana's lap, Right? You're in Georgia, and all they do is make fun of Alabama, right? Alabama's like, fuck Georgia. Hey, at least we're not Mississippi. And Mississippi's like, what the fuck do you want from us? Huh? Why don't you go to Shreveport? Tell me how you fucking enjoy that. What's going on over there? Shreveport, they don't know how to cook no catfish. Um, I love it down there. Granted, I'm fucking white, you know, and even if the Klan started marching, you know, and I got all fucking nervous, I could fake my way through it. You know, give them a nod, you know, and slip into a store real quick. <laughs> Um, what's going on tonight? Oh, the Patriots. Ignore your fucking wife. <laughs> Football season is back, baby! Ignore the hurricanes. Sorry, just blew out yours. Ignore the hurricanes. Ignore old fatty up there fucking Doesn't that fucking guy in North Korea Doesn't he look like he's the same shape as like Curly from the fucking Three Stooges You know I'd love to see him They they just reshot the old football sketch You know Can somebody please do that Just sort of photoshop in Doing that thing where he does that running in place thing Doing that whole thing Just put his head on Curly's fucking body That's what he is He's Kim Jong Howard (laughs) (laughs) Uh, How many times would I be put to death in that fucking country? I can't even fucking imagine. I can't even imagine. You know, you got to go out swinging. You got to go out like a fucking, you know, you know, I'm not, you know, Saddam was a fucking brutal guy. But did you see how that guy went out? He was standing there. 
He's just staring them all in the eye. They put the rope around his neck. He's still talking shit. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself, you know? It's fucking... And people always talk, oh, dude, when you went Philly, how did you handle that? Fuck that. Look at what, what Saddam handled. He was talking shit right until they fucking yanked that rope uh, or that lever or whatever. I would have been crying like a little girl going, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I impressed everybody, man. I'll, I'll sweep the streets, anything you want. Yeah. That's how I would have gone out. Gone into the next world and God would have just been looking at me, shaking his head. You know, of all the awful fucking things you did, I think your bitchy way you left was the worst. Get out of my sight. And then he just pushes the button. I go down to hell. I go down to hell and I burn forever. And that's a good Fucking thing to bring up when you got two gigs coming up in Mississippi and Alabama. I'm going to tell you, you go down Mississippi, Alabama, those motherfuckers, they ain't got computers yet. They ain't got computers, but I'll tell you, they still eat. They'll still eat. I don't tell you, you give them some clothesline, they'll catch a catfish and dry your overalls, motherfuckers. They can live off the land. You know, if uh, what Rogan was telling me was even remotely true. Um, him and Jimmy Dore are the two most informed fucking comedians I know. As far as they actually pay attention to shit, somebody says some shit, and rather than just taking it as truth, they actually will fucking research it. They'll have guests on their show. I cannot recommend their podcasts and uh, his uh, Joe's podcast and uh, um, Jimmy Dore's YouTube show highly enough. And you don't always have to fucking agree with them. But I'll tell you right now. I'm going to tell you something right now. If you're fucking watching CNN and if you're watching Fox News and shit, I mean, that's, you know, those people, okay, I mean, you know, no offense to uh, other comedians, but they're definitely more well-spoken than a lot of us. But, you know, I'm just saying. There is a whole, uh, you know. Just look at how they read the ads on those channels, and then you know exactly, like, they're, 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 they're stuck between the lines, man. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um yeah, why don't you confuse the people? So there you go. I had to do with something free massage because I lost another advertiser. I can't believe it. I put my fucking heart and soul into these fucking reads. You know, I could go monotone. I could just read what they wrote. I could just do what they want. But you're not going to listen. And I know this. Show must go on, even if I'm reading fucking advertising. But those fucking cunts over there, the masseuse people, that was a one and done. How dare you bring up hand jobs at the, at the end of the, uh, the massage reach? What the fuck are you talking about? That's a huge part of your industry. Either you're doing it or you're not doing it. What the fuck? It's like you're, you're in food. You're selling some sort of food, and I bring up trans fat. Like, that's not a big fucking issue. That is a hot-button issue that, that, is, that, that needs to be brought up in front of Congress. And I, I stand by that. If you can legalize weed at a state level, you should be able to legalize a hand job at the state level, okay? Now, if the feds come in and she's got your dick in her hand, you're on your own, all right? You're on your fucking own. You're Joe Pesci and Goodfellas. Oh, no. Right? That's it. That's it. All right? Ladies, it doesn't mean anything to us. It doesn't mean anything. If you ever saw the look on the woman's face when she's doing it, I mean, I swear to God. I swear to God. Like, it's just like she's, she, I don't know. She's thinking of fucking zillion other things. Which is probably usually where you go. That's probably your safe place, you know, when you're fucking employed in the sex industry. Um, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. So because I brought that up, which was funny enough to make people listen, they walked away from all the fucking massages that my listeners would have got. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. A third of them would have been expecting some sort of uh, hand release at the end of it. So maybe maybe that's okay. I, I'll take that. Okay, I, I will take that part of it. All right? But I'm getting tired of these, these, these the, the blue aprons. The nature boxes, you know, they're all good when the sun's out. And the second they see a little bit of rough water, what do they do? They fucking pull up stakes, those fucking phony bastards, okay? And they take their aprons and their fucking twats and they go to somebody else's podcast. And I'll tell you right now, I've had enough of it. Doing my, my gosh darn just over here to try to put a little bit of money in your pocket, you know? 
How many people do you think at that fucking massage place have actually gone to a massage parlor and gotten fucking jerked off? How many? You know what I mean? It's fucking up. Jeez, don't even get me fucking started, you know? 